Hey you guys, this is Tom from Tom's Interesting Talk. And today we're gonna make homemade chicken nuggets and we're gonna focus on, and we're gonna make these from Cowboy Kent Rollins Extra Crispy Onion Ring Recipe. But today we're gonna be adding that batter, that crispy batter to our homemade chicken nuggets that we pulled off our whole frying chicken. Let's get at it you guys, let's make this recipe. All right, you guys, let's get these breasts, these tenders, these thighs, and this drumstick meat all turned into little chicken nugget pieces. We just want to do one inch by one inch pieces for the most part, because um, you don't want to be too monstrous. A little piece there, a little piece there. pieces of chicken nuggets that we're going to deep fry tonight for dinner. Voila, just like that. And then our nice little chicken wings um, that we're going to bread with the skin on and deep fry those whole. All right, here we go. Let's start with the dry ingredients. So we need about a cup and a half of flour, you guys. Let's get some flour going on here. cup and a half of flour. There's about a half a cup right there. So there's a cup and a half of flour. We're going to add our garlic, onion, and coarse ground pepper to this mixture as well. I also think I'm going to add just a little more onion to this. Just a little more onion. Just a little. And then we're going to add also some of our Himalayan salt to this part of it. And then we need our coarse ground black pepper. So about a tablespoon. And then we're gonna add some of our smoked paprika. Oh yeah, this is such a good flavor. This is gonna combine with the, all these other flavors. It's really gonna make a very, very tasty, tasty combination for these chicken nuggets. And we need a couple tablespoons of this smoked paprika because you want a nice color. This is what's gonna give it that good color. And it's really gonna add a nice flavor to it. Now let's give this a nice whisk, get that all mixed up, so this is what we're going to be doing our dipping in, it's going to be our dry mix that we dip our chicken nuggets in. Panko. So this is going to be panko batter um, and this is really the key to making these extra extra crispy. And we want just basically a whole box of panko um, because we're really going to coat these chicken nuggets in as much of this stuff as we possibly can. Alright and then there's going to be a wet portion to this. We're going to start off with milk cup and a half of milk. And if you're saying to yourself, well, why isn't he measuring? Why isn't he really using a half a cup measurement? You know, you can eye these things. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we need a half a cup of sour cream. And that's again going to be, you know, normally when you're doing chicken nuggets, and you're doing a breaded situation like this, um, you'd use a buttermilk. But instead of buttermilk, we're going to use this whole milk. 
um, because I'm just a huge fan of the whole milk. And then we're going to use the sour cream rather than the buttermilk because it's going to give it a little bit of a tang to it. Um, and that's kind of what I'm really looking for, looking for here. So there's our half a cup of sour cream. And then we have ourselves, then we need to add, I want to say a tablespoon or two of honey. And we're just going to kind of guesstimate here, you guys. Voila, that looks like a couple tablespoons of, of honey. Uh, maybe just a tad bit more. Who doesn't like a little sweet honey? Oh, you know what we forgot? You know what we forgot, you guys? We forgot the baking powder in our dry mixture. Oh my lord, can you believe that Tom's interesting talk is messing up this recipe um, of Mr. Kent Rowland's thing? Yes. So let's use two tablespoons of baking powder. And let's give this dry mixture another mix to make sure that we have everything in there that we need to have into this recipe. So these chicken nuggets, extra crisp chicken nuggets come out as amazing um, as Kent's did uh, when he was making his extra crispy onion rings. I am super excited about trying these homemade chicken nuggets. You know, I'm so sick of going to McDonald's or Burger King or something like that and getting these chicken nuggets are pressed and they just don't even look like a chicken nugget. They don't even look like, I don't even, I don't even know you guys, but I know these are going to be amazing and I'm super stoked about, um, about how this is going to come out. All right, so let's give this wet honey, sour cream and whole milk, let's give this a nice stir. We want to make sure and stir it up real well. It's going to have little chunks in it from the sour cream and we want to make sure and get it as smooth as we possibly can. So let's make sure we... Alright. Voila, that looks pretty smooth to me. It's nice and done. Okay, now we're ready. We have everything mixed up. We have our dry mix, we have our wet mix, and we have our panko coating for our chicken nuggets. So the way I like to do this, personally, is you want to go into the wet, then into the dry, and then into the wet again, then into the dry. And then basically cover it with your, your panko mix. There's your first chicken nugget right there. Into the wet, into the dry, into the wet, into the dry, into the wet, into the panko.
Ho 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 Please like and subscribe. That's what make us, makes it all go around. You know how to do it. Push that like button. Push that subscribe button. Let's get it.